this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I spent a lot of time with Robin for various pieces that I wrote for the New York Times, including a profile of him that I wrote in 2009, where I went on the road with him for what would sadly end up being his last comedy tour. He was so different from, of course, how he presented himself on stage. We know him as a very manic, high energy, extremely hilarious performer. And in private, he was much more thoughtful, contemplative, extremely well-read and intellectual. And you knew there was, at minimum, a duality to him, if not a number of facets about him. He had an incredibly wide range of talents as both an actor and as a comedian. And of course, a career that begged to be delved into. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I can't express it. The end of his life, as sad as it was, had a number of threads that I think needed to be untangled. He had a very complicated upbringing and personal life. We needed to understand exactly what happened to him at the end. He felt isolated quite often. You learn about the kind of parents that he had, the upbringing that he had. He couldn't help but grow up to be Robin Williams. He had to become that person to keep himself happy, to entertain himself, and then to give that to other people. Welcome to Saigon, sir. Yeah, we could put an eye out with that. The health problems that manifested at the very end of his life really were so different from who his personality was, what his personality was. He could turn it off and on like a switch. Sometimes I think he had a little trouble turning it off when he was in a group setting and he liked to entertain. He wanted to be the same guy that you saw on stage. He wanted to give you the Robin Williams experience. I was just trying to be funny. When you think about somebody whose whole purpose was to entertain and to make you laugh, for that person to take their own life, it's a hard thing to process. If you think about entertainers, even they have troubles. That's a very hard thing to reckon with. You move, Chief. I think Robin cared deeply about every role that he played and how invested he was emotionally in those characters. He really was curious about those kinds of people that he played from all walks of life. Captain, my captain. It was a curiosity that I think defined him as an entertainer. Thank you, Mark. Next. <laughs>